Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on the CGN Nation and it is live. We have ourselves another special guest. Many of you may remember Sean from our old, old, old at this point, oh so old campaign so games. Old. We played two campaign games, right? We played the we one played. In, in Durham. At what, what was that store? At, um... Games sci-fi Plus? Sci-Fi Genre. Sci-Fi, sci-fi genre. genre. And then we also played the one in Montbesamonte with Shield Hand Johnson in the Tau. Uh, and you have some of the most beautifully painted Tau that I've ever seen, except the problem is that you painted them gray. And so everybody... <laughs> everyone thought you were just playing with unpainted models. <laughs> can I say, man? What can I say? You gotta, gotta get down and look at them. It was an interesting strat. Very interesting strap. But of course, we are also joined by Josh. And today we are taking a look again at the new Warhammer 40k releases. This time, however, the pictures are not blurry. Uh, and that we actually get to take a closer look at the models that are coming out with the new edition of Warhammer. Um, and yes, I am not the only one who's really upset by the R going over the border. I see meme after meme after meme of that silly R. But uh, no, I, I don't even see that. I still like it. I still like the new logo. I didn't even notice it. Well, are you guys on the webpage? You got it. You got it loaded up there. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. So we are going to start with this new Primaris Marine, and it's the Assault Marine. Um, but here's my question: Do you think they're going to have jump packs? I don't know. Uh, they might, but I, I mean, I think that they would probably have spoiled it with jump packs. You think they would have spoiled it with jump yeah. packs? Well, they all, they already have two assault vehicles that they can ride around in. Yeah. And with the new, uh, rules that they're going to have for, um, coming in from flanking or from the rear, there might not be as big of a need for that. I'm just wondering if you're going to be able to do, like, if they have a jump pack, like you'd have on the Assault Marines, then can you make a Primaris Smash Captain? It would be very interesting. Uh, I wonder if Smash Captains are still going to work the way that they work right now. So Yeah, we don't know. We're not, we're, we don't know. But what do you think of this model? I think it's cool. Um, I love Chain Swords. I wish that they were better in the current edition. I get maybe Maybe they'll upgrade them. Yeah, like maybe if it was AP minus one and one attack, that would be pretty sweet. But right now it's just, I think, one attack extra. Yeah. Sean, have you added Primaris to your Space Marine Army? Yeah, man, I got a ton of Primaris. I mean, to your to your question about the the jump packs, I don't think they're really they're really necessary, right? You know, we have a lot of assault vehicles, we got intercept or what are they inceptors i think Mm -hmm. you know with the the faux hammer of wrath type deal um so i think we'd see a completely different model if we got something close to combat with the jump pack um so are you waiting to see what they do with drop pods honestly right you know do drop pods work these are we going to get primaris drop pods are we going to be able to charge out of them smash stuff with the chainsaw because i just end of the day that's what you want i just i feel like Historically, I don't feel like people ran a lot of space assault space marines without jump packs. You know, like they always have jump packs. So it's interesting that the Primaris assault marine um, is coming out without a jump pack, and maybe that'll be dealt with in the rules somehow. But that just never seemed like a thing to me. It was like you buy assault marines to get the jump packs. Well, and you, it might be cost prohibitive e- e- either way. I mean. It might be insanely expensive to equip a uh, Primaris with a with a jump pack. True, true. But then, but who knows? Then maybe you might only run like three of them or something. Yeah, and and I mean the Smash Captain. If they're gonna nerf something to death, right, in the next edition, like Smash Captain's on the top of that list. For sure, for sure, for, for sure. You know, yeah. so whatever they do do with it, mm-hmm. you know, I. Do do. <laughs> I mean, I think we'll see some some functionality, but I think it's going to come from from different methods than just hey, I can move twelve inches, you know. I mean, and let's get up be, a building. 
let's be frank about this new model. Honestly, it's the same model except it has a chain sword on it. So you can only get so well, excited about it. It has a dynamic. It has a much more dynamic pose. I mean, here's here's the uh, the original, which you guys can't see, but our viewers can see, like right? This one? Like that or one. <laughs> Aaron, was that dude from the, um, what was it, the Dark Empire, or Dark whatever, whatever box, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's from the Dark, from, it's from the, Ven- the Dark Vengeance box, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, uh-huh. I mean, those were way more static, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think we're going to continue to see the, not so much mono pose, but hey, you've got five poses in your kit, and that's kind of all, all you get, which is unfortunate, because, you know, that was part of the fun of these smashed G marines was being able to be like hey i'm going to give this guy two chain swords and one arm's going to be back here and the other arm's going to be over there and i've got decapitated heads everywhere and you know just all sorts of weird random stuff even down to cutting the joints and repositioning them into more dynamic poses obviously you have a more dynamic pose but you know how difficult is it going to be to do something like that with with these new guys you know is it accessible to everybody in the hobby who wants to cut arms off or is it going to be only those people who are really 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 skilled at modeling you know able to get something that's not cookie cutter that's actually a good point i i haven't thought about that um hopefully you know i mean i guess that that was like a positive and a negative because i remember the old school box of marines it was like 10 super lame dudes all standing like this right like this and you had to spend a lot of time to make a dynamic pose so I don't know. I guess yep, I guess 100%. we'll see. But but I know that you spend a lot of time customizing your guys, including your your famous uh, magazine reading and uh, toilet guys. I'm gonna go close the door from the dog. Oh, I, I want to hear the dogs more. I don't want to hear. The dog. Fresh squeezed. Man, I, I miss I miss the studio. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Hey, that dog's still there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, so let's move on to the Necrons. Let's take a look at the Necron Warriors. That's the next picture down on the page. And uh, the first thing that I noticed is they got rid of the cool little like clear plastic thing. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, do you really think that the Warriors need? To be like, first of all, do you think it's going to be the equivalent of a Primaris upgrade, or is it just a different warrior model? Well, here's here's something you got to look at. I don't know if you click through all the different pictures, but they're going through a, uh, going with a whole new look here, uh, with them being like shambling undead versus like just like the robots. Um, and they have like bullet is, holes in them. They, and their uh, their eyes are messed up. Their faces are messed up. They got guts hanging out like wiring and stuff yeah it's interesting because they're supposed to you know they're i guess the reanimation protocol is not working as well uh, i'm kind of on the fence uh about that and i'm on the fence about them releasing these they are so close to the original model as far as i see unless they're much bigger i think they're um, bigger i've heard that they're bigger but the question is if you have you know, is it is it the same strategy as going from Space Marines to Primaris? Is it going to be going from Necron Warriors to Necron Warrior Plus, Necron Warrior Primaris, whatever they want to call it? Like they already have those already. So what are those? Those are the uh, oh, what are they called? What the Praetorians or something like that? No, it's just it's the it's the other troop choice that they. Oh have. yeah yeah yeah. I don't know what they're called. I just shoot Necrons. Yeah. <laughs> They they have better guns and they they cost twice as much basically. <laughs> okay, so something, you something about being invincible. Yeah, I don't know. What so yeah, so I don't know. so you think that these are just regular warriors that are going to have more gun options and no no shiny bit. Yeah, what I'm seeing is they're becoming more like uh, space tomb kings in this respect, with the, these guys being like the the most jacked up uh, skeleton troops. Uh, and then if you look, the next model, we haven't looked at it yet, but the next model has a lot more ornate symbolism on, uh, on the model. The, the one with 100,000 guns? Yeah, the, the Hundo Thousand. <laughs> this uh, guy, I'm sorry. Don't this guy, his claw. Dude, this guy's ridiculous. It's strong. I know. It's like, like, what is happening? gave him a gun and then took a leg away and then gave him another gun. It's so <laughs> weird. Isn't that a gun, though? It's like a gun and a... 
and an it's a axe? Sword, actually, yeah, it's a sword, a gun, and a claw. Perfect. It's the perfect well, combo. So, so let me throw it out there. I mean, what do you guys feel about you know other than the models, obviously? But what what do you feel about this whole idea of hey, we're gonna release another T four thing with our space marines that are t4 right because the necron warriors have always been classically so similar to space marines other than their reanimation protocols and you know some of the other fancy fancy models um but it's it's i kind of wanted something like totally different right well here the, we don't know the rules for these new guys right yeah good point they did change them quite a bit going from seven to eight they went from, uh, at least as far as I recall, they, they went through, uh, when they put out the new models that were Change the armor ones, save. Yeah, they, but they also changed the weapon save. I mean, the, the weapon, the ballistic skill. Um, so they used to hit on fours or, or threes, and now they hit on fours. Um, so they might change it even more. I mean, they could make these guys just like super dirt cheap, T3, uh, with uh, uh, you know, just super reanimation, so you just have to keep dealing with them. But they're 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 grass, basically. But they said that yeah. you're. But isn't there a Necron book out? D yeah, but this is going to get a new book right away. Just like okay. these models aren't in anything, so there there's, there's going to be a new Marine book and a new Necron book right off the bat. There's so many new Necron models they can't not put out. Yeah, yeah. a new book. Um, but yeah, well, I, I actually kind of hope that happens because I still have like 20 of these that I haven't built. This? This model? Not that model. I'm saying warriors that have Oh, right, right, right. Gotcha. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and and the, the great thing about this being the initial army is this is my cheater army that I love uh, for as far as the paint scheme goes. <laughs> Yes, so it, I, could, I could have like all of the new models built and painted in a, a night, few days. Yeah, well, depending on how uh, how fast I can build them. Honestly, the painting is just about layering and drying. Yeah, you have that awesome rust paint. If you want to check out the paint job for the Necrons, it is at CoolGuysNation.com. It's one of our featured uh, armies, and it is beautiful. And we have a lot of them. Well, I don't like that they got rid of the cool clear plastic thing. I loved the cool clear plastic things. Um, as as a big of pain in the butt as they were, I don't know if I really like the fact that they're reissuing the the basic troop. Um, that just seems like, hey, you probably have sixty of these from your Decurion detachment from back in the day. Buy sixty more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I it think this. Like there might be twenty in the starter box, though true i mean we can take a look at the picture from the starter i think this is the do they have the starter box picture uh they did have it I, I saw they they cleared it up i mean we've got a shady version of it somewhere but yeah well we have this picture um which is the big battle scene right and there's about 20 it looks like there's about 20 20 warriors in that scene yeah um oh but we can finally see the stairs the cool stair thing, and it definitely looks like he's feeding off of somebody else. So, in the big giant picture, what are you most excited about? So, I'm not sure which. Are you talking about the one on this page here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Uh, let's just scroll down. Um, well, I, I don't know if you saw this, Aaron. I'm gonna actually send you uh, a message uh, so you can see the picture I'm talking about. That's the purported half side of the necrons the reported the, the what this is what is purported to be the starter half of the new uh ninth age starter box for necrons okay i got that up on the screen okay gotcha so it looks like you get 20 warriors uh i think there's five scarabs this new creepy crawly guy uh one of the couple of these smaller three-legged dudes one, one of those stalker things yeah so it looks like this starter box is i mean because that's what it looks like this is going to be a starter box yeah um, and it looks like the bunch of the warriors have the bigger guns it looks like they have the the, the well, two the, barrel guns that's what one of the things are for the new warrior box is that there's a uh, there's a new gun that they uh, all okay have. that's kind of cool so there's there's a shorter range uh, I think more firepower they described it. So, um, 
Yeah, I I'm excited about that because that gives you a reason to get all those new warriors because you don't want to chop up your old ones. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, you know you guys were talking about those green rods, but the ones that I have painted up, half of them don't have rods because I bought them off of uh, eBay and just like dirt cheap broken lots. Um, so I just painted it like there was a rod there and no one notices. That's true, and I and I see I see a lot of Necron peop, like Necron players having painted over the rods, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but I personally like them. Uh, let's move on to the Space Marine. Okay. So we have this other new Primaris. Oh yeah, we talked about the big guy. Yeah. The lieutenant. We're going to talk about the the Primaris lieutenant. Uh huh. Um, what do you think? Uh, shield's cool. Uh, he's got a nice little, uh, a lot of accoutrements on this guy. I'm going to say that. Yeah. I... He's got purity seals, and he's got relics, and he's got a sword, and a gun, and a shield, <laughs> and a halo, and, like, he's just got everything on him. So it's kind of cool. It's going to be fun to paint. I think he's too much for a lieutenant, though, man. Like, don't get me wrong, a lieutenant's dope, but... You think I he's feel like, like we're getting up to to that you know that captain type level, you know, with all of the accoutrements as you said, um, and the the iron halo. What's with the iron halo? Am I going to get an invulnerable save now? Oh wait, I got a shield. Yeah, so, that's that's a little confusing. Kind of off of that. Did they have they had a, they have a lieutenant model right now? Yeah, they got yeah. dude. Lieutenants are everywhere. There's fifty lieutenant models, maybe seventy five. There's a lot. Okay, so maybe this is like a super lieutenant, like it's lieutenant <laughs> commander. It's lieutenant commander data. That's what we have going on here. So here's what I have to say about Space Marines, specifically Primaris. Unless they can um, drastically alter what they're using or carrying, they're, they're going to look really samey to me. So the only thing cool about this guy is definitely the, the, the shield, because there's not a lot that have shields. Um, and I'm more looking into the, like the new vehicles and and, and uh, other big units or something. Like, I mean, how cool would it be if they had like um, uh, like uh, what's that? What the heck is the name of the space green guys that are bigger? Um, that, that have the flamers, have... Centurion Devastators. Yeah. What like, what if there's a Primaris version of those guys, just bigger than those guys? Oh, that would be that cool. Would be really Primaris cool. Centurion. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. Yeah, All right, well, let's... I'm still waiting for Primaris Terminators, man. It's not It's not happening. Yeah, I know. But still, I want them. <laughs> I mean, that is the problem. Is like I remember we were so excited when the 8th edition came out because we were like, oh, Terminators are going to get that extra wound and they're going to be so much better and they're finally going to work. And then it was like, nope, everything scaled up identical. So yeah, they got that they got that extra wound, but everything is doing extra damage. So sorry. Well, ex extra damage, weight of fire is so strong. Right. Yeah. Let's let's go down and take a look at the three uh, assault pictures. By the way, I don't really like the way this thing moves between the pictures, how the ones on the sides are like stretched. It's super weird. Uh, so I'm starting with Mr. No Helmet. Uh-huh. I think I think first of all I think his face I think his face detail is really good. Yeah. It's it's an interesting head. It looks like a Goliath head. Like an ogre? <laughs> no, like a Goliath <laughs> from Macromunda. It does a little bit look like the Goliath. It does. I think these models are interesting. I'm not super psyched about them. Uh, I am happy that there's gonna be you know, the plus one attack and the better close combat weapons. I felt like that was something that Primaris sort of lacked. Um, I'm more interested as to what this means, what these models are going to mean for chaos. Like, are they going to have awesome chaos Primaris assault troops? Here's no, what sir. I, here's what I uh, decided... Um that uh, GW hates chaos secretly <laughs> and everything good they only allow them to have for a few brief moments and they rip it away 
So <laughs> I've decided that there's no point in playing Chaos other than for fun. They, they, they're not going to be competitive. Uh, and if they are competitive, it literally gets destroyed the next day. Like the rule of three. It's competitive by accident. I, I really want that to yeah. be gone for the new edition because I want half of my armies to be worth playing again. Why does I Josh sound like spam. he's 100 miles away? I don't know. Let's turn his mic up. I don't know why. Oh, is is my sound coming through my mic and my uh, my picture instead of my my mic? It could be. No, no one yeah, knows. That could be it. Listen, here's the thing. I want the rule of three gone. I love spam because it makes it look like a real army. I know the, the rule of three destroyed the game for you. It did. It really. I, I basically stopped playing 40k. Yeah, but you the destroyed the game for so many other people. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred percent true. It was impossible to play against him when he's like hey i found this really broken forge world model and i'm gonna take nine of them <laughs> and and you don't get an armor save and you don't get an invulnerability save and i do mortal wounds sorry the best hope that you have is that i roll a one on my d3 it was really fun <laughs> for you no but this this guy i'm really excited about cutting him up and including him in my intercessor squads either as a sergeant or something else um you know me i don't own a single space marine i don't think i have a model that does not have a helmet on it um yeah. so you're never going to make me happy with some guy screaming at me right because he's just going to get shot in the head and die uh, so how about this model with the weird black thing sticking out from the side do you know what, can you figure out what that is? Is it a knife? What are you talking about? So like scroll scroll around and there's oh. there's one model that like That's like running towards you? That's like running towards you and he's that's got a, a chainsword. With the pistol and the hand. Oh it's a oh it's a chainsword. Yeah. Oh it's the back of a chainsword. I was like, Come what? on, bro. What? And this is guy that? went to art school. What he knows is everything it? about why perspective. Is he, first of all, why is his chainsword backwards? What's going on? Why is he holding it backwards? It's very confusing. Oh, I see. Some of them have the chainsword strapped to their leg. I got it. I got it. Mysteries of the universe. Mysteries of the universe. So let's talk about the next model and how disappointed there isn't an entire like uh, torso uh, of a skeleton attached to these shields. Like I got. The, in this oh, thing. you want to you want to move down to the uh, veterans? Yeah, because in the in the in the in the video there was definitely a whole body attached to these. I don't want to see like a skull. I want to see a body, a whole thing. Wait, what do you talk? What do you mean? In the cinematic, the yeah. guy that has the shield, if you look at it, he literally has a per, uh, an entire person on his shield. Oh, it's okay. Like a skull, arms, tor uh, like their their chest, like all of their body is literally attached to his shield, and he runs <laughs> straight into his enemies with them. That's awesome. And these guys, I want their shields to be full torso shields. Well, I like them. I'm curious how much they're going to cost, but then again, we don't know how much anything is going to cost. Uh, These guys are going to be expensive, man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like um, the golden dudes that I can't remember the name of right now. Custodes. Yeah, I'm thinking you're going to get three of these guys for the book for you know fifty five, sixty five bucks with a three up invone. Yeah, I mean they got the shields. I would, I don't see why they would change that. But they also the have, invones. they also have halos. <laughs> Well, and I read something somewhere that they're supposed to be doing the, the Mastercrafted swords, not just a regular power sword, which right. is, you know, still not a Thunder Hammer because there's no strength bonus to it, but it's, I mean, definitely better. And, I mean, but we so. also don't know if there's going to be other ways to kit them. Right. Well, that brings up an interesting point, right? You know, are we going to see these guys in single pose kits for three months and then... You know, they're going to release another kit that's got all the bits and the different pieces and stuff like that. Or are they going to go straight to, to the full kit where we can do whatever we want? Well, it says, I your eyes do not deceive you. These are indeed first company vet veterans armed with power swords. And then three dots. Three dots means fine, fine, master crafted power swords. If you oh, must Okay, know. well, there you go. Yeah, so that's on the page. So let's, uh, Aaron, I sent you another message with the uh, Imperial side of the starter box. That's the purported starter. Yep. So How come no one sends me messages? I don't see know. stuff. Aaron will put it up on share screen or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, anyways. let me get that to you. I'm going to send it to you in Facebook, Sean. 
here's here's what we got in there. It looks like we've got uh, some heavy weapons teams, three of them, but there's five of these guys with the shields. Uh, looks like that might be a unit of five. Um, but here's what I'm saying. This starter box, if this is actually the starter box, is going to be a easily $300 plus starter box. You think um, so? Oh, easily. Oh, with the amount of stuff that comes in it, it'll be 300 minimum. I would say I'm going to actually go out there and say 325. I mean, it looks like it has some sort of Devastator type troop in the back. Yeah. And it, it has, has the two characters. It has the two characters. Well, one of them looks There's more like a standard. Characters. Yeah. It's like two yeah, characters you, and a standard. You got four characters, man. Standard, chaplain, some other random dude with the giant sword that they have further down the page. You got a captain in there. Or chapter so, master. I don't know what he's going to be. So there's just a, just a lot of, lot of stuff a lot of in stuff. here. But if this is the actual starter box contents, of like the Imperial half, I can see this starter box costing a lot of money. And you only uh, get three bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, until they come out. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to put these out for the, uh, for the starter kits, and then everything else will be broken up into multi-post kits that they, they charge a ridiculous amount of money for. Can I ask a real dumb question? What? I thought Primaris used floating vehicles. Why are there bikes on wheels? Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't hear that. Listen, listen. Talk about something else. <laughs> the Custodes <laughs> use floating stuff. But, but I have, but, but this, I'm, I'm with you, Aaron. I don't understand this, why they don't have repulsor pads instead of tires. Right? Like, don't get me wrong. They look awesome. But could you imagine that bike with repulsor pads instead of tires? I'd, I'd be. I was so, con <sighs> like, I like it. And I particularly, maybe I can open this meme that I found that I'm like, that I really like. Um, what where, is it? What is it? It is the uh, Akira, the Akira bike meme. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I deleted it. Why would I do such a terrible thing? Um, terrible. But I was so confused when I saw the wheels. And I'm just going to really quick, I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to go to the page and I'm going to scroll one more down so we can see the close up of the of the bikes i think the bikes look really cool i like that they're chunkier i like the way the guns are set up i like that they're going to probably get more number of shots with the guns i assume maybe they even have a better armor save or something i don't know but i i cannot understand why they're not on floating bikes yeah i don't know i like the fact that these guys have chainsaw chain swords even on the bikes too which is cool Yes, that is cool. So they'll, they'll actually survive for a second inside of <laughs> inside of close combat when you inevitably charge or get charged with them. Well, you know, there's nothing to be nothing to be ashamed of with two two bolt rifles. You know. Yeah, I don't and, know what the cost is going to be. Or are we going to be able to put other things on on plasma guns, multi melts, well, flamers, all that fun jazz? You know, probably not to start with. I feel like the Primaris in general have a lot less customization than Space Marines did. I think that's on purpose. I know, I know. Because I'm... GW is finding out that when they made all these options, they are going to have to support them throughout the years. And they're going to have to uh, either ban basically certain items or uh, you know let them go the way of the Dodo, or they'll have to create rules and factor that into oh, okay i i found i found the meme i found it i found it where is it well i'm putting it up for the viewers first and oh. then send it through facebook because i can't see the viewers and then you guys can take a look at it it's pretty good all right it's sent it has been sent to everyone i mean Live. yeah that's pretty sweet aaron just broke my brain okay because of <laughs> why <laughs> because they're it's really awesome right isn't that a great like yeah i like it this this makes me this make this picture makes me excited and this picture which is the the blue one makes me go why aren't they floating um so i'm probably just gonna have to rip the wheels off of mine and make mine floating i don't know what else to do but other than that i think they're pretty cool i think i'm most excited for the bikes um, but then we can, we can scroll right down to one of the characters, which is definitely in the box. Let's see if I can see where in the box it is. It's the back in the box set picture. It's the very 
last character on the top right is the one that is on the web page that's feature and that's the yeah. judicar uh, and he has an executioner's blade which has four dots executioner's relic blade excuse me he looks cool yeah he does look cool he's dope i'm not sure why uh the only thing i don't like about him is that uh the skull mask and the the half face mask kind of looks odd like i think they should have just chose one or the other he almost looks like a necron see and i'm i'm a terrible person man that that head's not going on that model yeah. like he's <laughs> he's getting a a helmet now i might steal like the old school like chaplain style skull helmet from somewhere but like yeah. he's getting he's getting a real helmet you know because because i'm with you josh it's like what what are you what are you doing with my aesthetic i have this amazing studded armor i have all this really cool embellishment look at the the, the swoops and the, the movement of his mm -hmm. greave the alone are cool it's yeah. fantastic and then blau necron head with a with a loincloth well, here's the <laughs> thing. I, I think you could still save this face you could still save the face you just cut it directly in half <laughs> and then you put like the skull half on top of another half that you cut in half, so he still has. A ah, half. yeah, yeah, that would be cool. That and would then be cool. You can with use the respirators the, and stuff. Yeah, then you could use the bottom half, and then just put like a scout head and use it for a cool scout captain or something. Or a cool scout character. Perfect. I could, I could see something along those lines, but yeah, I mean, every, I, I love this model except for the face. I love yeah. it. I absolutely love this model oh, except for the face oh. and the sword. Reminds me of like the Berserk anime. Like he doesn't oh, even sharpen exact, the sword. That's it's exactly not what even, I was It's not even a power sword. He just hits it, hits you with it so hard that you die. <laughs> uh, it's called an executioner blade. Well, it will kill. Slightly specifically designed for lopping off heads. Okay. What do, what do you think about the square point? This is the first time I think I've seen a a sword from you know any any imperial have uh, a square that, yeah that has a square on the end as opposed to the the standard you know tip or kind of falchion type thing well it, it won't it, be it, as good stabbing <laughs> it, it's balanced <laughs> it's balanced by by the extra skull because it has a skull at the hilt and a skull at the bottom so so you're saying they they saved on material by not doing the point <laughs> right and that's how they added skulls well, let's see how many skulls can we even see on this model one two don't count. three four five <laughs> don't six count. seven eight nine there's ten skulls on this on the facing side alone nice uh no iron halo so maybe no maybe no info and save for this guy mm. unless the iron halo is now just full aesthetic well, it hasn't been so far. I think, you know, if you count his helmet, that's technically 11. <laughs> <laughs> you mean his head? His actual yeah, head? Yeah, his, hel his head. Because it's, it's shaped <laughs> like a skull. So there's actually 11 that we can see. And it looks like there might be a skull painted on his shoulder. Uh, yeah, right here in that, in that little <laughs> corner. Does your blurry picture yeah. help us see anymore? No, your blurry picture does no. not so, help so us So let see. me ask you another question about this model. Do you think that his hourglass is going to be some sort of weapon and or war gear? Or do we think it's purely for show, right? It's because we're starting be, to see these. Be an, something that happens. It's got to yeah. be something that happens, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what I'm feeling. Because they're really getting more into like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and carry this weird thing. But it does something, right? You know, as as back in history, it was like, I got all this weird stuff, but I've really only got a bolt pistol. Look at Mr. Well, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Aaron says that the square blade is traditional for European-style executioner swords. Well, thank goodness GW is paying attention and is making their models historically realistic. accurate and realistic. <laughs> thank goodness. That must also be why the bike has wheels. You know what? I think, I think the boot on this guy is starting to bother me now. Really? Why? The it's, boot? Look how big it is compared to the rest of his body. It's oh, his man, grave? they've got they've got grav locks and all sorts of weird Dude, stuff built into. Dude, no, just let it go. Let it go. His, his lower leg, and it's the it's the size of his entire torso. Well, I think it's also slightly in front. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's closer to the camera. I don't care if it's the size of his torso. I mean, if you buy two, we could make a pretty cool helmet out of one of the other one's boots oh yeah you know what? i built this That'd be i cute. built this super awesome dark angels uh captain with a sword and a shield and if you looked at him from the front it looked like he had the tiniest little garbage legs ever 
right? <laughs> just the perspective, the way that I built him. He looked dope from the side, absolutely amazing. But you looked at him from the front and it looked like just a, a, a bottomless torso coming at you. And <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm hoping that's what's going on here. But even if it's not, I'm okay with a giant boot. All right, so Josh, pick your favorite model from the Necrons and the Marines. That we've seen so far. Well, th- obviously that guy's the best Marine because I told you it has to be something different for me to even care. Right, so, so you're super excited for the Judicator. Judicar, uh, I don't know I think say. he's definitely the coolest. Okay. I'll, I'll say that. And then, uh, I mean, uh, we've got all of this Necron stuff to look at. So the, the model I'm the most excited about is actually this, like, angel character. Uh, the big, just, the big giant one with all the zappies. Yeah, because I can't wait to see that fall off of somewhere and just shatter into a moon. You're such a bad person. Oh such my a god! Bad no, but that's just... gonna, that's gonna be our, um, our what? Our, our, I don't know what they're called. Those guys that start with the T's. Satans. That are... Yeah. Yeah. So I, I need like right? my ninth or tenth satan, so that'll work. For me. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it looks like there's one inside of the arc, the tesseract. There's something coming out of it. Like you can see the little lightning bolts. Yeah, well, you can see there's a warrior teleporting out of it, which is in the fluff. Oh, you think that's just how the teleport looks now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I, I will be happy if they give the monolith some 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 punch back because those things they used to be amazing. They used to be a thing you had to worry about, right? Yeah. And then they, I, I don't know if it was just this last edition or before whatever but i recall everybody putting them on the shelf so anybody who played necrons had well, you know they six just pyramids just garbage uh the the weapon i mean the ballistic skill was just complete trash didn't it have like a randomized weapon or something of the sort where you it had i think it had a randomized weapon and then its ballistic skill started off at hitting on fours and then they had to like change it they eroded it to start hitting on threes because just nobody was taking that garbage right at the, right at the beginning of the eighth it wasn't at the beginning. It was like partway through where they, they, they changed it. Okay. I think I think my favorite unit from the Necron so far is the weird walking alien oh, looking the, thing with the four which legs. One? The, the, the War it, the of the Worlds it, guy. Yeah, the War of the Worlds guy. Yeah. There's, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. two of them. There's two different ones. Which one do you like better? The, the one, one on the balls? left. The one on the left okay. that says, what not, is that? Not with the balls thing. I like the not balls. Not with the balls. The other one has just like lots of balls going on. Yeah, man. That's what's up. But <laughs> I, I like that kind of a. I like that a a typical kind of like weapon. You know, like I I honestly am a little bit like, oh, you're the supreme rulers of the universe. You died and came back, and you still have guns. Like <laughs> migrating away from that is is pretty cool. You know, so yeah. so you um, like I, you I, you like the balls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I the like model balls. has a. Uh, it looks like their weapon, their big weapon, is going to be the ball. Yeah. Top. Yeah. Well, it still it does have the side guns. Down. It has the, the side sponsors. The balls. <laughs> yeah, it's got the side sponsors, but I'm also happy if you notice they they very clearly painted that ball, and that used to be wasn't that a, another one of those weird clear yeah uh, it was green a plastic like a gem crystal thingy. Ask yes. me how many of those I have on my monolith. How many do you have on your monolith? I don't think there are any. There, you have them all. They're just all painted. I don't think I have them, honestly. Uh, man, you're going to make me drive to but, the studio. But that's yeah. another one of those things like the helmets, man. Like, just some stuff doesn't fly. I do have fly. it painted if it's there. But yeah, yeah, it's just... I'm excited. This looks it looks cool. There's a lot more details to paint on uh, on a lot of this stuff, but I think this will really lend itself to my trash style of painting. What about the <laughs> shambling? What about the fatty destroyer? What about Mr. Fat Man Destroyer? For all the stuff I just said about yeah, guns, cool. I love the fatty destroyer. <laughs> the fatty so, destroyer. If you guys look at the uh, croissant, right, and go straight down, there's a guy in the background. Oh yeah. Oh, can I zoom on this? Let me see if I can zoom on this. He definitely has a ball on no, his No, wrong, wrong way, Aaron. I'm blind even with the glasses, so, you know, that, that looks like a, a Necron, for sure. It's definitely not one of these other Necrons, and it's not an old Necron. But, you know, and it's not the first time that they would have, like, slid something important in the yeah. background of a photo. They, they uh, seem to really enjoy I can't. That. I can zoom everything. Now I zoom the warning sign. I zoom the caution sign. Oh man, I can't zoom the picture. Oh no. But yeah, I see. He's got like scythes. It looks like he has two scythes on the yeah, top. Yeah, it's, it's really weird looking. So he's just cool looking. It's different. It's a hidden model in there. 
Oh, and then there's also the walking guys right above the, all the goss. Do you see those guys that look like they have jet engines for torsos? Uh huh. The, the the barrel boys. Yeah. Oh, do we think those are the the patriarchs or primarch or some some praetorians or something no, they, like that? They look like they're bodyguards for the guy right next to them. Yeah. That's and that wouldn't be that wouldn't be uncommon, right? Because we're starting to see you got the Vitrix Honor Guard and all sorts of mm-hmm. other weird random, you know, non Force Org units that you can take. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't that's the cool. That guy right in front of those Barrel Boys. If you have noticed, he doesn't have any legs. Oh, that's a model. I thought that was a piece of terrain. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that has his finger out and he's holding like yeah. a staff. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have any legs. I no, man, no that's legs. another one of those weird perspective things. He's got legs tucked back no there way, somewhere. No way, dude. No way. He no, you think he's held up? There. You think he's held up by the, the strapies, the tentacles? No, man. I think he's. You I think he's standing on that weird little up. spider thing, man. He's he's floating around on a spider disc. No, no. Yeah, he's totally standing on that spider disc. What spider disc? The, you see? Okay, so right, we're looking at we're looking at the War of the Worlds thing with the balls, right? Not Just to the even left of that. Close to that guy. No, Just no, no, to the no. left of that. Other, other We're not side. looking at that side at all. Oh, other okay, side. yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. All right, so, so the fatty, guy... the fatty guy that says oh. all the goss, right at the end of his gun, there's gotcha. a guy standing there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now no. that we're on the same page. <laughs> no legs. No, I'm not seeing any, but <clears throat> who knows? Uh, that spider guy also is pretty cool. I hadn't noticed him either. That, that, was, is... by, that was by the We have shields. that model already. Paint it up. This guy? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. He came in the set that came with the uh, the Necrons versus the uh, Mechanicus that had the War Dogs in it. All right. Aaron says there's new flayed ones hiding right in plain sight. So, uh, Aaron, are you saying that, that these barrel, that the guys that look like they have circles for their, their chests, that those are flayed ones? I think that's what he's saying. It might be they have claws. I was thinking they could be, but th- if they are, they're a drastic uh, removal yeah. from from what the flayed ones are supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sean, what is your uh, favorite model from either the Space Marines or the Necrons? Man, I'm really I'm really digging the the guys with the shields and the the relic swords. Yeah. Yeah, just the the straight up. What are the what are these dudes called? Where'd it go? The Primaris bodyguard veterans. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the poses. I'm liking the the embellishments. You know, um, I think it's appropriate for a bodyguard as opposed to like a lieutenant to have that much stuff on them. Um, and I always I've had a Vitrix honor guard just live through a whole battle and he should have died. A long long time ago so you know i'm i'm really big on character and i have characters who do you know and have their histories throughout the games that i've played and i can see one of these guys being that right my dopest bodyguard ever never goes down always takes the wound so uh that mixed with the the aesthetic is just they're my favorite and i don't have to do anything i don't have to chop off someone's head and put a new head on because someone made a bad decision in a studio yeah, they're really they're really pretty. I think they're good. I'm excited for the bikes, even though they have wheels. I'm, I think that's something I'm most excited for. The, um, the bikes were a close second, man. The bikes are the bikes are awesome looking. They the, really are. I'm least excited about the weird multi armed Necron guy. <laughs> like really, all right. But you know what I am excited I, for, I Josh. Pretty cool. I'm excited what? that Josh is excited about Necrons again. That's what yeah. really makes me excited. Well, I love Necrons, but the rules were just jinktastical last thing. Uh, let me let me talk about one more thing. Sure. Uh, dude, I totally forgot what I was going to talk about. I wanted uh, to look at one thing. Oh, you totally messed my train of thought up when you were talking. What, oh, okay. Was okay, it cupcakes? Okay. No. Let's oh. talk about those Space Marine bikes. Okay. Um. I think this is a place where if you really wanted those floaty bikes, you could really get uh, some of the uh, conversions out and, and be able to, to, to get that look like a floaty bike rather than a riding bike. No problem. Oh, yeah. And I'm going yeah. to. It's going to sure. happen. Yeah. I, I think that would be super easy to get that. I mean, there's barely even wheels showing. So 
I mean, I might have to sacrifice an entire Primaris floating tank just to take four track pads off of it. No, don't don't do that. <laughs> Look at I'm saying you see the the uh, the wheel the hub cap over that wheel. Yeah. Just cut that off and get that wheel out of there and pull that down, and uh, you could just put like. <laughs> anything in there to make it look like it's a like it's a repulsor engine and in the back wheel you literally put anything there that looks like an engine and you're good to go yeah i'm just you know i'm just saying they have wheels but even though they have wheels i'm still really excited about them agreed i'm excited that they don't have the stupid floating stem actually that gw makes (laughs) (laughs) all right well any any final thoughts gentlemen if I never see a curved floating stem ever again, it would be the best thing alive. You don't like those? The curved ones? No, they're terrible. 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 Mechanically That's, impossible. You just put a pin straight up like I did yeah. with all my yeah, stuff. Yeah, 100%, dude. Or you know what you do? You drill through the jetpack and just stick it in the jetpack. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Wait, are you talking about the curved one that came with the... With the, the Inceptors. Pre- oh. The big dudes with the with the double plasma, which is awesome, by the way. Um, but no, man, I'm I'm excited. I think it's a good continuation of the line. You know, we're gonna see less and less and less regular marines, unless you're salamanders, of course. Um, and it's just gonna keep going that way, man. And you know, my big question is always, what does it mean for everyone else? You know, because like, what do, what do we do with the Tau now? I still just battle suits in the same old same old i mean they did i think there are some pictures of tau that are starting to surface like art concepts not models so i think some stuff is going to be happening with the tau here's what Um, i think they should do with tau is completely abandon the foot troops yes they should they should go all have yeah uh suits Uh, it should be a suit army totally awesome manga that up everybody I mean, loves suits that's that's what we used to play in fifth and sixth and seventh man is nothing but yeah. suits there was no reason to bring a foot soldier ever no matter what that's what gotta, it should be I, I agree i agree but you know on the other side we're gonna have people like you who want to spam stuff <laughs> <laughs> and what are you gonna do if you don't have 120 fire warriors to spam on the table yeah, so I just I oh, found wait, I found, suits i found that picture of the shield with the full skeleton on it and that is way cooler yeah that is way cooler well i i i'm very excited about what's coming out i want to see what else is around the corner i want to see what's going on with nids i want to see what's going on with tau um nids uh, will be cool nids could use some love and i and i want to see what's going on with chaos as well but overall i'm excited i feel like this has really put some fire into our engine i guess yeah Uh, yeah yeah yeah. so here's what i wanted to talk about the tyranid thing uh-oh. I feel that the Tyranids were jacked by the rule of three as well. Yep, one hundred percent. So if that goes away, they are their army is technically mostly fixed. Do you really think they're going to get rid of the rule of three? They better get rid of the rule of three. I would not. I would not pin your hopes on them getting rid of the rule of three. No, if they wouldn't need the rule of three if they balance the rules in the first. What? Place. What? Whoa! Hey, don't talk about that either. <laughs> Forbidden territory, man. <laughs> balancing i i would like with the new edition what i want right is you want the the rule of threes gone i want to be able to win the game with any amount or type of models that i bring right every single thing you bring should be able to achieve victory you might have to use it right totally weird do whatever who knows but you're you're everything should have a place right and edition after edition after edition after codex after edition we have stuff that just we don't use because it's garbage why right because there's 10 billion models one edition good next edition bad that's that's why you have to buy new crap (laughs) but but that's what i'm saying you know like if everything had its place right you know i i don't think they would i don't think they would I mean, I I think you'd be able to sell more of anything because, hey, now it's driven not just by what's good on the tabletop, what, you know, performed well at ATC this this year, you know, but this is the thing that I really, really like, you know, and I'm a competitive player and I can make that work. 
you know and there's a lot of game systems that do that and i think i think it's the number of of unit types that really kind of hamper the number of armies and units. there's so much stuff yeah and that's actually one thing i'm worried about for ninth edition because we have the creep is coming back no no we have already so much bloat from eighth edition yeah literally there's like hundreds of books and stuff that we could use and and now we're gonna add to it and there's going to be so many books that you're going to need to play and you're going to have to confirm like what are we doing which book am i using what's going on yeah um that's what i'm kind of worried about i mean i do i do really i did really like that brief moment in the first six months of eighth edition where you're like i got oh there was nothing i got two indexes and i got this core (laughs) rule book and i'm gonna play this game like i did like that it's beautiful beautiful well, thank you so much for joining us, Sean. And as always, it's good to see you, Josh. I can't wait to get back into the studio with you, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Don't forget what, your masks. What all are we going to be uh, looking at for the uh, the start of this? The start um, of... Are we looking at, I mean, we talked about maybe doing a narrative campaign right out the box with Necrons and the Space Marines, specifically Purple Burples. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I've been working on my Primaris uh, while in uh, isolation, and so I'm just going to continue to do that. And we have a huge Necron army. It won't be too hard to get the new boxes uh, up to date. Um, and assuming that the rules for narrative are clear and clean and fun, then I would love to jump into the narrative play. Is is there something, Aaron, Josh, is there something that they've made recently, you know, like one of the last books that they've put out? Um, that's, you know, going to do that for you already. Right. You know, when we were looking at, um, the dark vengeance first coming out or whatever, whatever that thing was where Martius Calgar and, and heart, uh, the world claimer were fighting and they just released Abaddon and all that fun stuff. Right. You know, you could, you could fight through that entire campaign, just following that book. And that stuff was simple. It was straightforward. I didn't have to think about, you know, what I was going to do, um, which can get super, super absurd, right? Because you've got a million different resources and you're like, hey, I want to do something cool. Um, so I don't, you know, my suggestion would be pick up a book that they've already got, roll with it. Well, there's the only ones that I can pull out of the top of my head are, are going to be the Necron Forge World book uh, where they do campaign stuff like that. Is that um, like with the Blood Angels, the Fall of Bale, or something like that? I don't remember what it's called, but we actually have some of the Forge World units that were in that in that book. Uh, but here's the issue that I have with that: it's Forge World, basically seventh edition at this point. Um, that's old rules, and this is going to be with all the new fluff of the Necrons. Obviously, the Necron fluff is getting completely changed. Uh, we don't know what's going on with them, but they are resurging hardcore. The Silent King is coming back. There's going to be a giant amount of fluff that's going to come out for that. Nice. Uh, so we want to incorporate that as much as we can into our new campaign. And the new the book with the campaigns probably won't be out by the time we want to yeah. actually be starting the, this campaign. So we are going to be, once uh, we get a little bit better grasp on what's going to be coming out and what we'll have, what we'll be able to do, uh, we want to be able to, to come up with a cool campaign. For so that. really, really Sweet. quickly, Imperial Fist says one of the shield guys is a lieutenant and the other is a captain. So it's a unit of three. Okay. Um, it's just kind of how their position makes it look like a unit of five. Thank you so much, Imperial Fist. Cool. All right. Well, until next time, it has been a pleasure to see you all. And we will see you on the table. <laughs>